the forest water bodies bring in bigger animals like the royal bengal tiger this one called t54 is one of the reigning males of this territory having gorged on a kill and with a full belly he has come to rest in the cool waters tigers love water and can spend hours in it as the day turns hotter tigers like to cool themselves in water visitors and some guides have named him matkasar for over 12 years he has survived and thrived he has pushed several male tigers into other territories tigers in the prime rule a territory for 3 to 4 years after which they are ousted or even killed by younger males t54 is a popular tiger and has been holding his territory for over 5 years a time will come when he will be challenged by younger males sighting a tiger in the indian jungle is a matter of luck and good tracking multiple safari does increase chance of a sighting in tarus forest just so there is no commotion the jeep decided to leave at the request of the patrolling officer the tiger was left to relax and rest tarus forest always springs the prizes relaxing in the branches is the crested hawk eagle with a kill also known as changeable hawk eagle It is a large bird of prey often found perched in the lower branches of trees. Smaller birds like this oriental magpie robin is a possible prey for large raptors. These birds are now common and are easily spotted near human settlements in and around Tadoba. Trees provide a good source of food to birds and animals it also provides shelter to one of its resident bird that rests through the day the spotted owlet the spotted owlet is occasionally known to fly during the day but it's most active during dawn and dusk These are juveniles and they stay together for several weeks. They roost inside tree cavities. When disturbed, they freeze and appear like a dead tree stump. They sometimes perch prominently on wires or bask in the morning sun before retiring to their roost close to ponds and lakes sightings of the red-naped ibis are common the curved bill forage into soft mud of frogs and other insects dragonflies hover around the plants and in the far end great egrets of busy fishing trees around the ponds are good observation points for birds and for visitors it's the place 
to look for birds. Many bird enthusiasts catalog these birds. Back at the pond, a fish-eating bird has been waiting patiently for some time. It's the purple heron. The bird can wait for hours without any movement. With no catch, it is not a great day for the bird. It decides to seek greener pastures and flies off to the other side. The purple heron's true grandeur is visible when it's on flight mode. On the other side of the pond, a large bird with an upright stance and a bare head and neck walks slowly. It's the lesser adjutant stock. It's often found in large rivers and lakes inside well wooded areas. Wetlands and swamplands are its comfort zones. The stork moves cautiously as it looks for frogs, snails and fishes. They have a long straight pointed bill for catching prey in these wetlands. Small patches of grass serve as an ideal mini island for birds like great egrets as they look for prey. This one is not successful this time but will soon pick up a fish. Nature has programmed them to be patient. Smaller birds like this Brahmi starling operate around forest grounds. They are difficult to sight as they merge very well with the grass and thickets. Back at the lake, a kingfisher takes an acrobatic dip in the water to cool itself. The water body is calm and still, and the serenity with jungle sounds is a paradise. Everything looks like a still painting until this fish jets through the water. Flying at water levels, birds like this great egret almost glide through the waters. It's poetry in motion. <laughs> 